Afternoon guys, welcome back to Don Amots this afternoon. Luckily we've got the sun on our side today and it's not raining and it's not Baltic. So I will take a bit more time on this one. And you can see this lovely Camper King San Trope that I've got behind me. Now it's in the pure grey, which I think looks lovely. I hope you agree. You've obviously got the anthracite wheels as well. Now they're alloys, they're 20 inch they are, front and rear. They look perfect with the grey on grey combination. Now. You've probably noticed you've got the privacy glass in the back as well it just looks stunning now it's the start line version it's the 110 brake horsepower manual gearbox it's only just over a year old it's a 2022 plate so it's not old in the slightest and it's done just over 4700 and give or take 50 miles so in my opinion that's it's like new it's as close as you're going to get without spending the money now it's 4.99 meters so it's a standard wheelbase so you'll get that in most car parking spaces you'll get that anywhere that a normal car will go and i think that's the great appeal with these is you can still use them as a normal vehicle as a as a day van as we call them so you've still got four seat belts in it so you can still use it as a normal passenger vehicle but then you've got the added bonus of this wonderful pop top and a kitchen so as you can see going round it, I don't know if anyone noticed, but on the rear you had rear parking sensors as well. This has got business pack. I'll go into that in a bit more detail when we go inside. But I just want you to really admire the nice details of it on the outside. I think it looks cracking. Um, that colour to me is probably one of the best ones that VW do. Okay, I'm slightly biased, but I think it's for good reasoning. All right, come follow me inside and you'll see why I think this is a cracking van. Now, inside, you've got the full lever, so on all your seats, and then you've got your stitching that goes round it, which is white as well. So you've got this lovely, again, like very similar to the colour on the outside, pure grey, around your kitchenette. Should I Yeah, yeah, please, Wendy. So you've got running water in here, it's cold water, so it's perfect. You've got your double hob, and then just below it, as Wendy's showing you, you've got your fridge with your freezer in the top area as well. Below it, we've got loads of storage. I'm sorry, I'm rushing Wendy a bit there. But that's it, and if you open, that's it. Cupboards galore. And you've got three above just there as well, which all open. Oh, sorry, Wendy. <laughs> I'm rushing her. I'm t and then we've got a massive cupboard underneath the sofa as well, which we'll have a look at in a minute. So Wendy's just showing you all the space. One thing which I'll show as well, because it's a bit easier because Wendy's got a hand with the camera. So this just here is your table. This can be moved anywhere along, but it can also be taken out and removed. So don't feel like this is fixed in place. Yeah it's completely flexible. Same again with this tabletop up here as well. The idea of this is you can use it if you sat there and use it as a table. Secondly, you could spin it out. So if you were barbecuing out here, you can use it to place your items on here. Yeah. Again, you can remove it. So don't ever feel like things are fixed in place and are getting in the way or are cumbersome because they're not. This area can be completely open and completely flexible. So. In your corner top right there, you've got a wireless charging pad. So for any of you with your more modern phones, I think they're glass backed normally, you can do wireless charging. And then above it, we've got your Webasto heating. So that's a diesel heating system. It's a right doddle to use. Honestly, if I can do it, anyone can do it. And just below, you've got your control system. So that basically turns all your lighting on, turns your water pump on, a couple of other bit, little bits as well. Again, there's six buttons. It's not a difficult system to use. Below it, you've got, thank you, Wendy. So you've got your two USB charging. And then to the right of it, you've got your two three pin plugs as well. So just normal plugs. Now, so Wendy's sat on the bed just there and on the sofa. That's got two seat belts on. So as we said previously, it is a four belted van. So you've got the two down here with full seat belts and you've also yeah. got the two behind Wendy as well. Yeah. The one that span round obviously spins round. I think that goes without saying a little bit. And the one that we were at previously, 
that turns into your bed. Yeah. So to do that, if I just remove this table for the moment, just pop it out here. Now obviously we'd do this slightly differently if there wasn't two people in here at the same time. That just pulls straight out, he says. Sorry. Ooh. That's it. And then just literally turns into your bed. So I made that look a little bit of a faff there, but I'm not going to lie. But then you guys wouldn't. You wouldn't have someone filming you and standing <laughs> behind you doing it at the same time, would you? But you get the full idea of how easy that is, albeit I made that a bit of a faff. It still only took me 30 seconds. Yeah. If you've done that a couple of times, 10 seconds and you're done. And it's a big bed. You know, it's only a small van, but I don't know how well you guys can tell there, but Wendy's still got a fair bit of space there. She can still open the fridge. She can still get into the seats behind and sit in the seats. So it's not tight. And again, above Wendy's head, you've got your secondary bed. So if there is four of you, you've still got plenty of room. Again, if, if it was me, and if there was only two of you, I would just be using the bed above nine times out of 10, yeah. and I'd be keeping this area completely, completely clear, but you know, each, each to their own, shall we say. Now, in your bedding areas up above, so at the moment we've got the window shut just because of how bright it is today, but they just zip open, and they've just got plastic windows behind, very much like a tent in that respect. So if during the daytime you would have them open and it's so bright and airy in here again you never feel like so i get a lot of people say oh does it feel cramped up above is it claustrophobic no is an easy answer it's massive it's spacious and during the day just like wendy's got at the moment pop it open and we can all stand up okay i'm only uh, five foot <coughs> 11 and a bit um but it's it's still fine you know six foot plus and it's not an issue just coming into the cab, so the more van side of it. So five speed, what happened to my voice then? Five speed manual gearbox. It's got air conditioning in there. You've got heated rear screen, automatic stop start technology. In the center there that Wendy's showing you, so it's touch screen in there and you can connect all your phone with your Bluetooth, with your apps on there as well. I believe you've got Android Auto on there an Apple CarPlay, so you've got all your good stuff that you can put through and play all your music through. Now, these do have cruise control as well. Yeah. Again, you're going to be doing mileage in them. You're going to be on the motorway. That's perfect. Uh, you've got electric windows. You've got electric adjustable wing mirrors. You've got everything that you expect on a normal car these days. This has got. You have remote central locking on them as well, so everything that you need pardon the phrase and you may remember the advert so many years ago they drive like a golf they feel like a golf they're vw they're well known they're well loved and they're used for a good reason um so i think that's probably the majority of what i can tell you like i say it's it's only a 22 plate so it's, it's just over a year old it's brand new to me it's done just shy of or just over 4,700 miles again nothing I would strongly recommend if you want a good value camper king that's nearly new don't really need to look any further my name's james come and ask for me it's wendy behind the camera we'll be more than happy to try and help you answer any questions or queries that you've got and we'll see you soon cheers thank you